So we started track prepping the ILX for this weekend's Honda meet at Gingerman Raceway. And the first thing uh, I'm doing to get the car ready is actually taking off some load and uh, you know uh, light, lightening it up a little bit. So I started out by uh, uh, I'm gonna remove the rear seats and uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, a quick uh, removal guide on taking out the rear seat and uh, this is the bench portion so over here I already removed it but you can come if you pull this cushion off to the side you'll see this hook and in this hook there will be a 10 millimeter uh, screw in here that's holding uh, pretty much uh, this whole seat down and um, once you get that 10 millimeter uh, screw out uh, you'll uh, you'll notice here there are these uh, little clips here that are holding uh, the, the seat down and those little clips are what holding uh, these hooks in so what you want to do is you pull up the, on the seat cushion and you want to pinch on the side of these uh, black tabs here and you want to pull it towards the front of the car releasing that hook that's on the bottom of the seat cushion and then you got one on the opposite side as well and you do the same thing to release the uh, the hook off the um, that's on the seat cushion and that's how you remove the bottom seat cushion next thing we're removing is the side bolsters on the seat and to remove this uh, there's this plastic tab here that's being held by this 10 millimeter uh, bolt and you got to remove this once you remove this bolt the bolster has a clip that's up here and you just have to grab it and just pull it up just uh, pretty much jerk it up to get it to pop out of that uh, little resting spot um, once I get this out I'll show you guys hang in there so we got the side rest out and this is that little tab that I was telling you about this thing is resting in here so the best way to get it out is when this thing is in place here like that I pretty much just hit it from the bottom get this thing to jerk up and to come out of that little slot there so repeat this on the other side uh, on the passenger side bolster and uh, we'll move on to the center section after that okay so uh, the backrest is actually probably the easiest part to remove and I'll show you guys right now I already removed the bolts but uh, I'll give you guys a quick uh, look at the what you got to remove so this is it two 12 millimeter uh, bolts and one is located here see I already took this out I can kind of line it up do you see it um, yep yeah, one is here there's this little uh, metal bracket one is there and you got one on the opposite side all the way over there so you just got to remove these two bolts and get the seat belt out of this uh, little seat belt uh, hook or loop and uh, the thing will come right out and uh, what I'm gonna do next is just out of curiosity I'm gonna take these uh, seats and weigh all of them just to see how much uh, weight reduction we've done and um, uh, I'll keep you guys uh, informed. Hang in there. Okay, guys. So after a few minutes of work removing these uh, rear seats out, um, have some uh, numbers for you. So the side bolsters 
right here, one on each side, they came in at a total of four pounds. Um, the seat cushion was uh, 12 pounds by itself, and the backrest, the heaviest, that came in at about 25 pounds. Um, so all in all, we removed uh, just uh, over 40 pounds of, uh, of weight by doing just a few minutes of work and uh, hopefully uh, line the load a little bit um, and help me get around the track a little bit faster this weekend.